This training video is exploring Corcon's procurement feature called Bills. To find this feature, go to Projects, select a project, go down to Procurement, and it'll fall right underneath the POs option. After a purchase order has been issued to a vendor and the goods or services have been delivered, the supplier's invoice is processed using the Bills feature. Although a bill can be created manually and is an option, the PO to bill wizard is highly recommended since it will prevent overbilling by determining the received quantities for open items. There's a few reminders before we begin. When a bill is created or modified, Corcon will check to make sure that the vendor's insurance has not expired. If any exists, the transaction will be saved, but a warning message will be shown to the user. Multiple bills can reference the same PO, and for this reason, the PO to bill wizard can be used multiple times. For cost plus prime contracts, bill items that are marked billable can be imported into the prime contract invoice. Expenses, credit card charges, debit card charges, such as gas receipts, could be entered in Corcon as a bill or as a miscellaneous expense under the time and expenses features. A bill will appear on the cost to date transactions in Project Analytics and will affect the financial portion of the analytics if the bill is marked approved. Also, remember that when entering a bill, the vendor should be added to the project directory beforehand. Also, a prime contract that is referenced on a bill must be marked approved and have a status date before you can enter a bill. Referencing a job cost code is always required when entering bill items. Taxes can also be referenced on a bill. We're going to discuss several ways to create a new bill. Under the Procurement Stats section, we can go to Bills and then over to the Actions option. And let's add a bill manually. A manually enter bill does not reference a purchase order. This feature may come in hand if you're just entering a few small unanticipated bills. First, we're going to enter the issue date, the invoice number. This would be the vendor bill number. If you're using bill types, this is an option in the Corcon Global settings. Select a bill type. It is not required, however. Usually, you would enter this as pending, but I'm going to go ahead and mark it approved. And we're going to select the vendor, a contact terms. If you want information to be added automatically as you manually enter line item details, you can fill these in. And you can enter as many lines as you need. You can also enter lines by going to the Add Import Items, you can pull information from your cost database, from an estimate, or from anticipated costs. Then we'll click Save. Next step would be usually to attach a copy of the delivery ticket and the vendor invoice or bill as a PDF to that transaction so it's part of the permanent record. The next method we're going to use to Actions Let's add a new bill from a PO. We'll select the supplier, the PO number, click Next. If you're using daily logs and your field team is tracking deliveries on site, you can use the Show Daily Log Quantity option and it'll show the cumulative total of quantities received by line item. In this case, we're just going to add a few items. You can see there's 100 available on this item, but we only received 65. And on this one, 22. Two items that have the check marks with the adjusted quantities will be added. Then we'll add the supplier invoice number and the issue date, terms, bill type if you're using them. And I'm going to go ahead and mark it approved and click finish. Again, files should be linked to the record or transaction. Under the Linked Files option, you can drag and drop, add from a browser, or link an existing document that's already been uploaded to Corcom. 
Next, back to procurement and to bills. Let's import bills from Excel. Corcon provides the templates you can use to import bills from Excel. Go to the help articles. Under getting started, go to the Corcon import options for Microsoft Excel. Under the procurement heading, select bills. There are detailed instructions how to import the information. Also at the bottom, there are the database tables and fields that you can reference as column headings. And there's an example with some sample data in it so you can see how to set this up. I've already prepared one. All of the key or required fields are completed. Note that you can import a bill with multiple line items by referencing for the bill number as duplicate and referencing the item description lines one and lines two. Also, you can import a bill to a purchase order by referencing an existing purchase order number that's been marked approved. Don't forget that cost codes are required. And the billable status, if left blank, will be assumed to be billable. And the billable status is only crucial when entering a bill against a cost plus prime contract. Once everything is ready, just save that and then close. Then back at Corcon, we're going to click the choose file. And this is the file we just were viewing and click open. You can see all six bills were imported. If we go back out to the procurement module through the breadcrumbs and then back into bills, that information has been imported. If proper access has been given to a user, a bill can also be edited. For example, we'll click the bill number. Notice that there's two sections to edit. There are the bill items or details. There's also the bill header. We'll click the edit button and make changes as necessary. Click Save and Close. Down to the Details section. Again, click the Edit button and make changes as needed. And click Save. And back to Procurement. If you'd like to know more about the information presented in this training video, we encourage you to go to the Help Articles under Corcon. Go to Leads and Projects, down to Procurement. We encourage you to view the help article under the label bills, as well as additional information and details that were not presented in this training video.